Hello, I'm Nadine and a very warm welcome. So it's almost Halloween and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable meringue kisses and they're Halloween themed and we will make a beautiful meringue tower out of them. And this video has a big bonus because I'm going to show you how to put together a whole Halloween themed dessert table. You don't want to miss this one. So we have our meringue here and we're about to start but before we do I'm gonna have these dessert recipes and pretty presentation ideas here every week so please subscribe like the video hit the bell do all those lovely things <laughs> thank you so we are starting with some nice stiff meringue uh, this is 200 grams of eggs and 400 grams of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have a whole video um, about a pavlova that I did and I show in detail how to make this meringue and also some great tips to give you meringue success. So check that video out. The only difference is that this recipe has no cornstarch in it. Um, it's just egg whites, sugar and vanilla extract. So I have a piping bag here and I just turned it over on the top. It's fitted with a big round uh, tip. And um, what, for these stripey meringues, we have to paint the insides of the bag. I have some red and black food color here and they're gel colors. You should use gel because not the liquid ones because um, it'll give you a better color payout and it'll sort of stay where you put it. And then you just need some paint brushes and we're just going to go in and just one straight line Then we give it a bit of a turn and we'll do our black color. After the painting is done, we're just going to add the meringue into the piping bag. Um, you know, I have this uh, flower vase here and if you just put the bag on it like this, it just makes it very easy to fill it without messing up your painting. We just carefully plop the meringue in. And once your meringue is ready, you um, want to work fairly quickly because you don't want your meringue to flop and lose all its air. So this is not the time to um, take a nap or something. <laughs> so I have a baking sheet here with some parchment paper and I just stuck the parchment paper with some meringue so that it doesn't flop around. We have a prepared piping bag here and we are just going to pipe these kisses. So what you do is you start a little away from the sheet, start piping, put some pressure, stop, and then release. That's how you do it. And just leave a little bit of space in the middle. Okay, so we have this one sheet pipe. So what I did was there's more than enough meringue. So we'll divide it between three bags. Two are fitted with a brown nozzle and one with a big star tip. And I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I painted uh, another bag with the same black and white stripes. This is a star nozzle. Um, and we're going to pipe these out and um, these will look super cute and add an extra detail to the uh, tower, meringue tower that we make. So 
So we're just going to start in the middle, go around once and we're done. We only need a few of these. We will add a couple to the tower. And then, a really fun detail, we're going to add some candy googly eyes to them. So, some will get one eye. So, they kind of look like pretty little monsters or something. <laughs> And then you can give two eyes to some of them. Now this is our third piping bag and uh, no um, no painting in this one it's just we're just going to pipe up some plain ones because these will be some great sort of accent parang kisses for the tower that we make so just like before now on some of them i have some gold sprinkles here we're just gonna add some sprinkles and they just look very festive uh, when we put the tower together you'll see when it all comes together <laughs> okay so and then these ones we need plain because we're going to paint them with some gold dust later now all these trays they go in the oven a very low oven to 15 fahrenheit for 15 minutes then lower it to 200 and leave it in for another 45 minutes and then when that's done let them cool in the oven completely and then after they're baked uh, it's the fun part where we'll start assembling all of these and they look really really gorgeous so these are the striped ones, the black, white, and red. These are the ones with the sprinkles. And then these I colored gold with some gold luster dust. So you just mix some luster dust with some clear alcohol or lemon extract, and you just paint them with a paintbrush. These are the ones we did with the star tip uh, and put the googly eyes on it. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I think they're my favorite <laughs> and um, that's it so now we will start the assembly okay so the fun part we are going to assemble our meringue tower so I have an 8 inch cone here this is a styrofoam uh, cone and I just covered it with some paper you usually get these at craft stores like Michael's it will be in the flower section where they have all the vases and the dried flowers and all of that or you can find them easily online this is uh, 8 inches I put some fresh flowers on it so it looks extra pretty and um, um, the the meringues we just made are in the oven but I made these before so I can show you the assembly so let's do this I have some royal icing here. I just put it in a piping bag and cut the top off. So this icing will act as our sort of glue to assemble this. Um, I will put a recipe for this on the website, nettynetty.com. Okay, so let's start. So all you do is you put a little bit of this icing and just stick it on the cone and just hold it there for a couple of seconds and you can move on to the next one
look at these beauties <laughs> so this is the one that we just put together it's still drying and i did this big one earlier on so this is how gorgeous it looks we have all our kisses our gold accents and flowers so it really sort of brings it together and now keep watching because i'm gonna put a whole halloween dessert table together with decorations and all these desserts and it is really really beautiful Look at this, <laughs> we're ready for Halloween. <laughs> okay, so let me just quickly explain what I did here. Um, so this is just a foam board that I got from Target and um, I put it on a, I had a paper towel holder. So I just put it on that. And these are just some paper fans. This is actually a cake base that I covered with some gold paper. I have some paper bats and all these gorgeous flowers I got from the flower market. Um, that place is really my happy place. <laughs> I love going there. And I stuck with shades of deep purples, deep reds. And I want to show you, I found these um, chili peppers and they're actually all natural and they look almost black so i thought they would be perfect for uh halloween so we have this whole color palette here black white gold with touches of red and purple so i thought it came together very nicely oh and these this boo uh these letters i found at michael's so here we have our gorgeous meringue towers that we just assembled and over there we have these adorable ghost cupcakes and this is a Halloween inspired chocolate park. So there's actually a separate video on all of them. So I think what I'll do is I'll make a Halloween playlist so you can enjoy them and try uh, these out. You can completely replicate this or use some ideas. I hope this helps you. So this is one thing about me. I actually love hosting parties. I really sort of come alive when I'm putting something together. So let me know if you would like to see more of these um, sort of dessert tables and stuff like that because then I can maybe do another one for Thanksgiving. So write in the comments, yes, 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 if you want to see more stuff like this. So that's it. I'll put all the details uh, on my website for you, nadinelli.com. And um, I'm going to have these pretty presentation ideas and dessert recipes here every week. So please subscribe, like the video, hit the bell. <laughs> and um, if you make any of these treats, Please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see those pics. I hope you share this with your loved ones. Until next time. Now keep watching because I'm going to put a whole this